I moved my family to Detroit, Michigan. People at home thought I was crazy. They even asked me, why would you move to Detroit, bro? We came here for God. We came here for the Prophet, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I want to learn about God for God. I want to teach about God for God. I want to live my life for God for God. I know at Dar Rahma, studying under Sheikh Abdul Karim, attaching to his chain of transmission back to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that I could achieve that. But from the signs that God has shown us thus far, I believe that we're going to be very successful here. And Allah knows best. We're very grateful to Allah that Ibn Ali Miller and his family have, have moved to Dar Rahma to be students at Dar Rahma and part of the, the intentional community here. And we hope that he's established the, a tradition of other seekers coming here and residing and studying full time. We hope that he and his family can study hard but then also with his talents and his eloquence and his ability as an inviter to Allah and as someone who can reach and connect to the young people and, and elders as well, that he's able to quickly impart what he acquires and then also be a part of the community and help develop the project. This community should seek knowledge to get closeness to God. And if you have a closeness to God, then you have everything. And in, and in this kind of community, folks are hurting. You better believe it, folks are hurting. But through seeking knowledge, one can heal because one can arrive at the true reality of who God really is and who his messenger really is. And if one could understand who God really is and who the messenger really is, then one is going to be able to understand who he really is. And that's what we want for this community. We want them to understand that they have the safeness and the security of God. And we want them to rejoice in happiness from that. And we want to rejoice in happiness too. I think we purchased the, the properties on March 13th, 2018. We've also been able to buy two houses. One of them we've, we've restored and Sheikh Abdul Cream lives in. And then the house right next to it, we just started restoring it. We intended to do the roof of that when we did the roof of, of our three buildings. So this alley, and those of you who have been with us since the beginning, you remember seeing scenes of young men carrying wheelbarrows or throwing tires or cutting trees down. This alley was uh, unpassable, at least by a vehicle. There's a lot of talk about revitalization in Detroit, and this is what it looks like. These two houses you see behind me, this is our next project from the ter terms of, of residential restorations. We've begun cleanup. We need to use it. You can see the roof is in a condition that it needs to be repaired and then we're going to remodel that. You see the property to its north, which is actually where my family and I reside. You remember seeing a clip of a young man sledgehammering open a garage door? That was this property prior to its, its restoration. Each community has its own particular threat, and I'm not from here. And uh, the people from Detroit, they'll have to let me in on that. And, and once they let me in on that, my intention is to simply spread love. We just want to spread love of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We do community cleanups a couple times a year. The community knows we're here. They, they know we have, inshallah, good intentions that we're here to help. And right now, our, our big drive that's being uh, coordinated by Brother Jabril Ahmed is the food uh, distribution. Not just to Muslims, but to non-Muslims too, anybody that needs food. At larger scale, we're beautifying the area and we're making it safer. Like I said, we've got four properties on Archdale, you know, which is a significant number of houses on one street. We're very close with the, the neighbor right here, Mike. I've been a member of this community for probably the past 15 years. I, I communicate with uh, most of the neighbors on this block and uh, it was pretty positive uh, from day one. It's been a struggle here on this corner because of, you know, all the littering and dumping. And when they showed up, all of that, you know, it slowed down. Everything's been cleaned up. Generosity, friendship, you know, he's been helping out. Donations to the, uh, everybody on the block. He's just been a, a good, you know, asset to the block. La ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah. So we've reached the point where we hope to replace the roofs of our three buildings. You know, the water is dripping in on us. If it snows, the melt is dripping in on us. Right now we're storing 
some of the food that we distribute in one of those rooms and one of the biggest difficulties is we have to make sure to store it in such a way that the leaking roof doesn't damage the food that people have given. We also have one of the residential properties that we purchased that it's come time to restore and that will remove all of the blighted properties from the neighborhood that we own. And this, brothers and sisters, this time we shouldn't see this as an affliction, we should see this as an opportunity from Allah. Allah, this Ramadan, we ask you to donate all that you can. And we're not building for the world, we're building for Allah, for His Prophet, for His religion, and the true spreading of that. Our teacher, Sheikh Abdul Kareem, he's dedicated, and he's teaching us how to be dedicated too. And we ask you to dedicate yourselves. But I'm not asking you to help us for us, we're asking you to help us for you. So I'm asking you to take this lifetime opportunity to support Dar Rahma to support our teachers, to support the students of knowledge. And we ask Allah Ta'ala to bless you, bless your family, purify your heart, and purify your wealth. And we ask Allah Ta'ala to give you a great ending, your wives, your children, and especially your parents. Amen. Um.